हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल फार्मेसी इन डेप्थ वेर वील टॉक अबाउट फार्मेसी रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स इन डिटेल टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ फिल्ट्रेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फिल्ट्रेशन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ सेपरेशन ऑफ सॉलिड्स फ्रॉम ए फ्लूड बाय पासिंग इट थ्रू ए पोरस मीडिया दैट रिटेन्स द सॉलिड बट अलाउज द फ्लूड टू पास थ्रू इट नाउ लेट सी वेरियस टर्म्स यूज इन ए फिल्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस The first one is the slurry which is the suspension to be filtered. The second one is the filter medium or filter media which is the porous medium which is used to retain the solids. The third one is the residue which is the filter cake which gets accumulated on the filter paper or the filtration media. And the last one is the filtrate which is the clear fluid passing through the filtration medium. Now let's see various mechanisms of filtration. The first one is called the straining. which is similar to sieving in that the particles of larger size cannot pass through the smaller pore size of the filter medium the second mechanism is called impingement in this solids having high momentum move along the path of a streamlined flow and strike or impinge the filter medium thus the solids are retained on the filter medium the third mechanism is called entanglement in this the particles become entangled in the masses of fibers of clothes due to smaller size of particles than the pore size thus the solids are retained within the filter medium and the fourth mechanism is due to attractive forces in this solids are retained on the filter medium as a result of attractive forces between the particles and the filter medium as we can see in the case of electrostatic filtration let's understand the difference between surface filtration and depth filtration in surface filtration the size of the particles retained is slightly higher than the mean pore size of the medium whereas in depth filtration it is much smaller than the mean pore size of the medium in surface filtration the mechanical strength of the filter media is less unless it is made of stainless steel and in depth filtration the mechanical strength is high in case of surface filtration the filtration capacity is low whereas it is high in case of depth filtration the size of the particles retained is more predictable in case of surface filtration whereas it is less predictable in case of depth filtration surface filters are expensive for example cellulose membrane filters while depth filters are cheaper than that for example ceramic filter or sintered glass filters here we can see a diagrammatic representation of depth filtration and surface filtration Now on the basis of pressure applied during the filtration process filtration can be of two types if the external pressure applied is on the top surface of the filtration media and it is more than atmospheric pressure then it is called positive pressure filtration and if the pressure is reduced from below the filtration media and it is less than atmospheric pressure it is called as negative pressure filtration usually an external pressure is applied or reduced to increase the filtration rate and reduce the filtration time of the process now let's see various factors which affects the filtration rate the first one is the surface area more is the surface area more is the filtration rate the second one is the temperature more the temperature more is the filtration rate the third factor is the viscosity of the slurry higher the viscosity less is the filtration rate the fourth factor is the pressure applied higher the pressure applied more is the filtration rate and the last and the final factor is the concentration of the slurry higher the concentration less is the filtration rate now let's understand some theories of filtration so the rate of filtration or the filtration rate equals to the driving force divided by the resistance the rate is expressed as the volume of filtrate in liters per unit time the driving force is the pressure difference across the filtration medium and the resistance is offered by the deposition of solid on the filtration medium and as the filtration time increases the increase in resistance also takes place as more solids deposit on the filter media and filtration rate decreases therefore filtration is usually done at a constant pressure or at a constant flow rate now let's study some equations given to calculate the filtration rates the first one is the poiseuille equation so poiseuille considered that filtration is similar to a streamlined flow of liquid under pressure through capillaries so 
if the cake is composed of a bulky mass of particles and the liquid flows through the interstices then the flow of liquid through these may be expressed as this equation here q is the rate of filtration delta p is the pressure difference across the filter r is the radius of capillary in the filter bed l is the thickness of the filter cake and eta is the viscosity of the slurry the second is the darcy's equation so poisley considered the capillary found in the filters to be highly irregular and non uniform and hence the length of these capillaries cannot be taken as the thickness of the filter bed or the filter cake so darcy gave a correction factor and he gave this equation where k is the permeability coefficient of the cake and a is the surface area of the porous bed the equation given by darcy was further modified by kozeny and karman and they gave this equation where k is the kozeny constant and e is the porosity of the bed now let's see various filter mediums used in a filtration process the first one is the filter paper they are the commonly used filter media because they offer controlled porosity limited adsorption characteristics and are low in cost but the disadvantage of using filter paper is that they shed very fine particles in the filtrate and also absorb small quantity of the liquid then we have nylon cloths they are superior to cotton cloths and are not affected by molds fungus and bacteria it has negligible adsorption properties and are extremely strong as compared to the cotton cloth then we have woven wire cloths which are made of stainless steel they are easy to clean they are long lasting and are resistant to chemicals then we have cotton wool and glass wool which are placed in the neck of a funnel and used as a filter glass wool because of its inert nature is used for filtration of corrosive chemicals then there are asbestos filters which are also used for filtration of corrosive liquids but they impart alkalinity to the filtrate then there are membrane filters which are most commonly used for ultra filtrations in which high pressure is applied they are made up of cellulose polyvinyl chloride nylon and other cellulose derivatives they have a wide range of pore size from 8 micron to 0.22 micron and they are often used for parenteral filtrations and the last we have sintered glass filters they consist of pyrex glass powder and used for filtration of parenteral preparations they are used for filtration of corrosive liquids and oxidizing agents and they do not shed any particles or absorb any liquids and they can be easily washed